time for part two of the vintage collection, and this will include the bars. So sit down, get some popcorn, relax, and enjoy the show. Happy holidays. <music> It's time for the bars. We were going to start with that one at the end of the last video, but let's start here. Just sold the five gram versions. I had two of those in my auction. The discontinued Geiger Elementals. These are the 20 gram version right here. Oh no, they were the 10 gram version I just sold. Just sold the 10 gram version in my auction on last Tuesday. But here's the 20 gram version. Like I always say, I don't have no perma stack in my house, man. Anything and everything is up for sale always. If you see something you like, make an offer. This is just my vintage bar collection, Oxford bars, highly collectible, highly sought after. Here's two of them right here. These are one ounces, baby. Very nice, very nice, Alaska. Here we go. A very cool one ounce ingot. I love the front of this one. This thing is sick. 1973 as well. And it's from Crabtree Mint. As you can see. I can't find it on a Nemista scale, but I'm sure it's up there in the 90s. I'm sure. I'm very... I'm, I could be almost 100% positive. It's in, I know this one's in the 90s. It's Motherload Mint. No doubt, the famous Concord stage. Pretty cool, Mother Load Mint. L O D E for those who don't know how to spell Mother Load. While we're at the Mother Load Mint, let's stick right here. Let's go to this one. This is another Mother Load Mint. Almost can tell by the bar, the outside style of it. You know what I mean? Mother load mint. This this is a, a 95 on the Nemista scale. It's a Father's Day piece. Here's another one. I think it's when I have the writing on the back. Yeah, see, it's a 95. Very rare. Cool bar. Just sold one of these in my auction. So congratulations to the guy who picked that up at a super great price, which was awesome. That's what I like to do. Offer good deals. You know, getting a 95 vintage bar at a really great price. I want to say picked it up for 38 bucks. That's killer steal of a deal. Here's a nice cool bar. Silver trade unit, unit, units. Very, very cool. Right there, man. Three nines, fine. Silver, one Troy ounce. Very neat bar, actually. I like how it has a silver trade unit on the back. That's cool. Super shiny. Some, some, uh, Toning going on too, but that's cool. This is an Iowa. These are from, uh, oh God, Highland Mint, I think. But this thing's like brand new. And the state, the, just the shape it's in. For the year it is, phew, beautiful piece. Somebody also took care of that. Happy birthday, 73. It's high on the Nemista scale. Another crab treatment, but I didn't write it on there. You want happy birthday bar? It's high. It's a high. It's got a nice high rating on it, which is very cool. Oh, 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 I forgot I had this one. See, I forget what I have sometimes. This is a Silver Farm bar. It just came out, but let's just keep it out and show it to you. You'll see it better than in the plastic. Am I got that thing right? My glasses are on and everything. Looks like it's reading right. Anyway, these are very rare. There we go. Silver Farm. It's like a like a gold gold ingot. This is from lot number nine. It has lot nine on it. That's upside down. Or lot six. No, lot eight. Lot eight or nine. I can't tell. 
on the camera. I have to get my loop out. See, there's a lot eight or nine. There's a lot number. If they mark them like that, these are super rare, highly collectible. Go for three figures easy. 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 Cool piece. Very cool piece. If you never heard of it, Silver Farm, go look them up. And they're rare. Here's a cool St. Patrick's Day from 75. Look at the shape it's in. That's the neat part, right? Look at the shape. It's a Madison Mint as well. Still sealed in the mint uh, plastic. Here is a matching to the round rarity bar. Beautiful piece. In Anaheim, California. Rarity Refining Company. The Libra. That is a vintage piece. And uh, a rare piece as well. But a lot of very cool pieces. And I really, really enjoy them. Here's a Bicentennial one, I think. America Bicentennial. Yeah, this is a cool piece from the Washington Mint. Um, we got a beautiful Veterans Day. Look at this thing. It's like brand new. Unbelievable. Look at the shape that thing's in. What mint's this? Madison Mint as well. I mean, it looks like it's brand new. This is from the 70s, man. Unbelievable. 1973. It looks like it was made yesterday. This is of the American Flag Collection. I got lucky to get this. The Washington Mint. Go look this one up. Unbelievable. The value in this is unbelievable. 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 Could not believe it when I looked it up. Oh, one of my favorite bars. Three nines find in Nevada. Very sought after. Very collectible. And very vintage. Nevada Silver State. Here's another vintage piece as well. With a crazy premium on it. Very cool. Maybe you'll become a vintage bar collector as well. Here's another one. It's crazy uh, vintage as well. Maybe you'll become a crazed lunatic like me when it comes to... Uh, Grabbing yourself some vintage pieces. American Revolution Bicentennial Spirit, 1976. Super cool piece. Boston Tea Party. Here's another Madison Mint, I think. No. But brand new for a vintage bar. It looks like it was just made yesterday. As the bell on the back. That's the Bicentennial. 76. Unbelievable. I mean, this thing's almost 50 years old, and it looks like it was made yesterday. Kind of crazy. Got a national bar. Oh, almost dropped it. With a smooth back on it. Cool collectible. Let's go to this one. 200th anniversary of the Boston Tea Party as well. Very nice. Vintage, vintage. Love the vintage. All vintage. Check this one out. The next one in line. Limited edition. One true ounce government model cow. 45 ACP. Three nines fine silver. Love it, love it. One some more of it. Then we got a Christmas one right here. From 1972. Yes. Very collectibles. There's a Corvette. 58 Corvette made by GM. Not necessarily vintage, but highly collectible. That's why it's in the stack. We're getting close to the end. Not as long as the round video, but we're square. Here's an Inglehard with the E back on it. Very nice one. We have an Inglehard. Serialized five number smooth back 
Not the pebble back, but the smooth back. Mingle Heart Industries. Super collectible bar. I forget how many of these are. I want to say 10,000 maybe or a thousand. I don't know. It's low. It is extremely low. This one is a, this is a good bar. Very, very, very good bar. Then we have an Engelhart and a uh, lollipop wrapper as well. Still pretty freaking cool. You don't see them in the lollipop wrapper every day. But last but not least, in another lollipop. Well, not lollipop. It's just in the plastic wrap. Johnson Matthew bar. The JM on the back. So there you go. That was a look into my vintage bar collection. This is video two from, I had a two part. The first one was of my rounds. So if you didn't see that one, go back and watch part one. I'll have them labeled part one, part two. One is rounds, one is bars. Just a look into my um, vintage silver collect collection that I have. Just wanted to share it with you guys over this Christmas holiday. Here's two more rounds. I don't know if you ever seen them. This is the design of the Swiss Rolos. Swiss of America Rolos on a, on a round itself. So there are different styles. But I do an auction each and every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Um, hope to see you there. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Enjoy your families. Enjoy just being around everybody. And enjoy the food that you're about to see and have feast upon. Take care. Stay safe. Go out and do something nice for someone. And... Keep on stacking, stacking, stacking. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.